Hi, I'm Adam Sills, Marketing Product Specialist for Massey Ferguson Compact Tractors. Today I have with me one of the new 2800E series tractors. They combine the practicality of a compact tractor with the functionality of a utility tractor. They're made for small livestock farmers, rotary mowing, and loader work too small for a compact tractor. They're just the right mix of innovation, value, and comfort. The 2800E series comes in two sizes, a 50 and a 60 horsepower model. You get your choice of either an 8x8 synchro shuttle transmission or three range hydrostat. You can equip them with the loader or a backhoe, further adding to the versatility. The operator station on the 2800E is laid out very intuitively. You've got an automotive style backlit dash and on your left hand side, caught out by the orange handles, are your drivetrain controls. First is your transmission range selection. You've got your low range and high range. Next is your gear shift, and then finally, your shuttle lever. To go into reverse, press the clutch in, pull the lever back, and release the clutch. To go forward again, press the clutch back in, push the lever forward, and release the clutch. Two other controls on your left-hand side are your four-wheel drive engagement and the PTO engagement. On the right-hand side, you have your implement lift, a place for optional draft control, and up to three rear remotes. The rear PTO on the 2800 E series is independent. That means you don't have to press the clutch in order to engage and disengage the PTO. Just press and turn this button located on the dash. The rear PTO also has a modulation button. When pressed, it slowly engages the PTO. This is useful when running implements like a rotary mower or tiller, which have high startup torques. This helps protect the driveline of not only the tractor, but the implement from shock. Under the seat, is the rear lift speed control. Reaching down, if you turn it to the left, you'll slow the speed at which the arms drop. If you turn it to the right, you'll increase the speed. To lock out the arms, turn it all the way to the left. On other tractors, the fueling location is located on top of the hood. The 2800E has it located at ground level, which makes it easy when refueling with five gallon cans, you don't have to reach up over the hood. The rear hitch will fit Category 1 or Category 2 implements. You can change between the two sizes by just rotating the end from Category 1 to Category 2. If you're not using a quick hitch, implement hookup is made easy with extendable link arms. The drawbar is also standard with all Massey Ferguson compact tractors. The FLX2815 loader on the 2800E can be equipped with either a 72 inch pin-on bucket or a skid steer tool carrier. With the skid steer tool carrier, you have the choice of either a 72 inch standard bucket or 72 inch high volume bucket. Go with the high volume bucket if you're gonna be moving light material like wood shavings or other bedding. The other advantage of using a skid steer tool carrier is you can drop the bucket and go grab your other tools like a bale spear or pallet forks. Plus, you can still use your existing implements or other third-party attachments like a grapple. For a grapple, you'll need our third function kit. We also have a soft drive loader suspension kit, which prevents the bounciness of the load from transferring back to the tractor and the operator. For more information on the 2800 E-Series tractors, please visit your local dealer or check out our website at MasseyFerguson.us. Thanks for watching.